Good to you guys, that's the Dr. K here, coming at you guys with another one, man. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, for everyone who's watching this, man. Please give a thumbs up and sub to the channel if you haven't already. I'm just the Dr. K here. For all my age people, obviously you know why you clicked on this video, but we're going to start it off like this. We're feeding the reptiles earlier this morning, man, and we'll try to catch the birds on camera, man. If we don't, you know, the birds are typically super, super skittish. So for all my people who keep birds, you, you obviously know what that's like, man. I got to warm up to you and all that good stuff. So without further ado, we got some live pinkies. We got our hog noses. We got a couple more snakes. So we'll run through that, and then we'll see you in a bit. And that is our condo hog nose. Anybody with any super condos want to? Want to do some uh, collaboration, man? Get at me. Those Kodam jeans. That's our young female. She's almost a year old. Eats super well. Got a rat pup in there. They're very much so alive. Rat pup and some pinkies. Let's see if she ain't hungry, man. She eats awesome, man. I never really have problems with her eating. So let's see, man. Well, yeah. All she needs is a scent, man. That's all she needs. She gets one little smell, man, and she she's on it. Oh yeah. She just went in on that one. Let's see if she'll take another one, man. Devoured that one up pretty quick. Gorgeous condo, you guys. Young female. Can't wait to see what uh, the future has in store for her. What you doing here, man? Ooh, that is a gourd. I cannot wait till she feels out, man. She is gonna be a purdy snake, you guys. Gonna throw some purdy codon babies. Look at that, no scent. On her second one. No problem. No problem. She loves to eat. She loves to eat you guys. No problem. Just devoured him up. She's a great eater, you guys. Alrighty, so I'm gonna switch those water bowls. Uh, nine times out of ten, the male may not eat on camera, but we're gonna make sure he eats. Switch his water bowl out. Move on to the birds. See you guys in a bit. And the one and only, the man himself. Real quick, real quick, like. bite my guy nope and 
that's all I'm gonna allow you guys to see. They sound like freaking helicopters, man. Super, super skittish, you guys. I mean, you don't know how to act. Pretty rusty setup. Just make do what we got, man. We've kept birds in the past. These are mine. These are my grandpa's the deal, man. Don't mind crying puppies in the background. Trying to make them see, man. Don't mean no harm. My bird people, man, get down in the comments, man. Tell me what finches you guys keep or what birds you guys keep. And like I said, everything's pretty old, man. We just cleaned it up to get them put in here. And we're going to be building some more cages here soon. And I got some uh, cocoa huts for them. And those bands are, uh, they represent the family they're in. I believe these are all pairs. Let me know down in the comments how do I differentiate males from females. My grandpa knows more than me, man. I'm just, you know, I, I feed them every now and again. And I come sit back here and admire them, man. Just so they can get used to me, me being around them. So I think those are the females, maybe. I don't know, they're super pretty. I don't know if you tell them the face. I know a lot of finches especially darwin's evolution theory uh you know if you ever went to school anybody um I, you know big science nerd uh you know he did a study on you know evolution on finches and so i know there's a uh, big differentiators even the things that look super super identical so yeah man hopefully they warm up to me man get used to me I want to perch up on my finger. And they're like freaking hummingbirds in here. I mean, freaking baby helicopters. Whoa, we got that on camera. Yes, we are here on a complete different occasion. Got some uh, smackers. It's got a little bit of fruit, veg for finches, budgies, and uh, everything else. Yeah, they actually came up. So, um,. Let me set the camera down right here for you guys. I don't know if I said it and said it again. I'm here on another day, man, because if you guys know about birds, everybody knows they are a pain to, to get used to. So we got a little fruit, a little bit of seed going on here. I don't know if my camera wants to focus. Got a little clip, so I'm gonna put this right in there for them. They're gonna spook. My grandpa's already got one in here, but it's just the uh, the little seed. I don't know, like that that main seed that's on here. That's the one my grandpa's got, which is that one. So what I'm gonna do is. See if I can't set this one right here. See if they don't want to feed on that. Let me try to do it. Oh, look at this green and I mean, look at this brown and no right here and there. Well, how the heck did you get in here, man? Let me grab him. Oh. 
How did he even get in there? That's crazy. Yeah. See if they don't want to eat for me. I just had one hover over to it. They definitely want to eat it, but they don't like this camera. Look at him, look at him. Oh man, look at that aerial flight. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh oh, look like that's a uh, head honcho. I hate I gotta get it through here, you guys. See, they don't want me to open it all. That's one thing they don't want. And they're super intuitive. Look at him, he's right up on here. And I'm gonna try to offer to the uh, cockatiels, cockatiels, uh, cockatiels. Cockatiels and the uh, budgie and see if they want it. Yeah, that's them. Look at old oh, man, look at them. Going in. Still, like I said, they're super skittish of me. Probably because I'm not their owner. See, all I have to do is let them get hungry. Let them get hungry, they ready to eat. They ready to be close to you now. They like you. They like you, they love you whenever they're hungry. Y'all wanna eat on camera for me? Y'all wanna eat on camera for me? Hmm? You wanna eat on camera for me? Let me take care of them, you guys. I really didn't, I hate that of all days that they want to eat. Uh, we got the city out here working. Get in the comment box, you guys, if you know something that I'm doing wrong, man, or if you know something that can improve their life quality. All my aviary people, man, all my bird people, man, get in the comment box below, man. I love that budgie, man. That budgie's my favorite one. Like I said, I got that one for my grandmother, man. And uh, I think I'm gonna get her another one, man, or get him a female, definitely, because, yeah, man. These cockatiels are cool, too. Like I said, you know, if I'm doing something wrong, if I could be doing something better, let me know down in the comment box. It's called Smackers. Let's see if they wanna eat from me. Eat from my hand, maybe. See who wants some of that. Some smackers in there. And they're just plowing away at it. I'm really trying to get to the budgie, man. I love that budgie, man. That little diamond blue color on them. Sorry for the noise in the background, you guys. Gotta get him used to that camera, you guys. Gotta get him used to that camera. 
I put the uh, smackers right above me, so if you see them flying up, that's probably what they're doing. Messy, messy ears. Get all those tails up, you guys. Quiet birds. Uh-oh, look at the pecking order going on. Who eats first and whatnot. That's why the budgie, you see the budgie has yet to be able to get in here. I know he fares pretty well though and he eats pretty good because he, I mean, he was tiny when I first got him. Look at him in the back. He was tiny when I first got him, man, and uh, he does pretty well. <laughs> Look at him, even though he's scrounging around in the back. He's like, man, where can I get in at? So, probably get another uh, a female for him, man, here in the future. Hopefully they fare pretty well.